Hello, everyone, and, and welcome to another episode of Inside Sweet Tooth, where we take kind of a, a behind the scenes look at, at the people who make Sweet Tooth possible. And today's guest is Bobby Whaling. Now, Bobby is the artist behind the Tulsa ornament. Hello, Bobby. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank All right, you good. for inviting me. Oh, well, thank you for, for, for being in, included here. Um, let's just jump right into it. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, your kind of background as an artist and a teacher? Well, uh, my father was an artist. And when I was in grade school, they, I guess I had some art talent. So they pull me out of the class to the back of the room to make like a poster for them or something, mm -hmm. the teachers. Be that was pre, uh, oh, you know, posters. Like elementary school or something? Yeah, in elementary school, that was like maybe 60 some years ago. So there wasn't all the materials and things for teachers. So you had to do everything mimeograph and by oh, hand. Yeah. So, um, I just decided I was going to be an artist because my father was one. Uh, he also was like a pumper gauger at an oil refinery. So that was an extra little thing he did. So anyway, and um, I just took art classes and was an artist. And then um, um, my grade school here, my parish of St. Mary, they needed an art teacher. And uh, they had one for a little while, then they didn't have any. And so I decided, okay, I will do it. <laughs> Become a, the school's art teacher. And um, I took some classes in methods, you know, of teaching art. And then I was their art teacher for about 25 years. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, you must now I'm an old retired person. <laughs> well, so how did you go from that, being an art teacher, what you used to were about, and then all of a sudden developing this, the, uh, an ornament of Tulsa every oh. year? Well, I didn't actually develop the idea in the first place. There was a store called Another Point of View. Mm -hmm. You remember that store? I do, yeah. And their owner, uh, Joe Ainsworth, she got the idea from somebody. I would just do their um, newspaper ads for them. I was their hired artist. And then mm -hmm. she asked if I would do the Swan Lake ornament that was my first one in 87 and so she would pick the ornaments to do uh. and uh, I would just design the artwork hand her the artwork I don't know magically and she made the ornaments and she had the exclusive uh, selling rights to them I don't know how many she got what she did what happened? So. Yeah. So that, so now, but you, you've you made what? Is it 31? 34. 34. This one is 34. Because oh from 87, actually in, two, in the year 2001, she was going to close her store. I think uh -huh. her husband was ill. And then I thought, well, that's the end of the ornament. And then 9-11 happened and the world kind of turned upside down. Mm -hmm. And uh, am I being uh, coherent? Okay, yes, I'm trying yes. to think. <laughs> and so um, after the Christmas came and went, people, I guess they found out who was the artist. I don't know how. And uh, people called me and said, you have to continue this, even though uh, Jo Ainsworth wasn't there. So she told me who she dealt with, uh, uh, this gentleman, and he would take the materials from her and then send it to somebody on the East Coast to do it. Be 
because the early ornaments like the Swan Lake, um, they were made in Kansas City and that production company that would make those little uh, golden ornaments is no longer in existence. So anyway, uh, I just decided to honor our firefighters in 2002, which mm -hmm. was the next Christmas coming up, um, because they were so important in the 9-11 sure. uh, tragedy. So. All right. So, so, but now that you're, that you're, you're selecting more and more of, you selected a lot of different ones. What, what kind of things do you look for in a, I mean, to decide what, you know, what kind of, what's your thought process about picking the next ornament that you're going to. Well, if there's a, an anniversary or a lot of times people will approach me mm -hmm. like, um, the people with the uh, Will Rogers High School, they approached me, they were having an anniversary, and if I would do an ornament for them. So that's how the 2014 ornament came to be. And uh, let's see, sometimes something new will come up, like the Guthrie Green. I thought, well, this is great, you know, so mm -hmm. in... 2015, I think I did theirs, and I can't remember. Pardon me. No, sure. 2016. What did I do? Oh, the Route 66 historic Route 66 bridge because that was coming on its hundredth anniversary. So sometimes I will pick something because it's the big anniversary of uh -huh. the thing. And then I'll just um, look around and say, well, uh, like Daniel Webster High School was the one of the next ones. And that was uh, its 80th anniversary. And it was a, a beautiful Art Deco school. So yeah, yeah I look for a, what's an, an anniversary. Oh, OK. OK. And obviously something that looks artistic to you or yeah. some way to be able to do it. Yeah the uh yeah that is that is great um what did uh um so what do you why don't we talk a little bit about what uh, and i think you have some samples there what we have for this year okay uh, <laughs> i don't know can do i show it yeah yeah sure i don't know if you could see that yeah, well we can, we can kind of see it there that's the bok center and yeah, that, but it's so reflective. Yes, it, it might be hard to see it pictures well. Pictures of, yeah. Anyway, um, you guys actually encouraged me to think about doing the BOK Center, uh -huh. if, if you remember. And I thought, well, that's that's good because at the time that the BOK Center was being finished, uh, and I thought about doing it. I was approached by the opera and they were having their 75th, I mean their 60th anniversary and they wanted me to do one for them. So then it was conflicting. So I thought, well, the BOK Center will always be there. So I'll do the opera one. So that's what I did in 2008. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, we'll, <clears throat> and we'll have the, uh, that went in the store by the time this uh this gets on it's uh oh yes it's been shipped yeah it's great oh i'm sorry gonna... you can't see it very well no we can we can uh we can see it yeah that that's good that's good so there's another one that you did that that's shipping around the end of the month or so or, or coming to us uh soon i guess yes, it's shipping at the end of this month it's uh it's uh Tulsa's response to the COVID-19 ornament. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a sample. Do you yeah, want to get try it. to see it <laughs> if you can? Uh, does that make any sense? A little bit, yeah. Now we can see the golden driller there and he's holding some disinfectant or something spray. Yeah. I. The, one of your questions was, how do you do it all? And 
I I drew. I don't know if you could see this. I drew the golden. Oh yeah. Driller, the driller. Uh -huh. and then I thought, well, I'll put a mask on him, and I can see in the reflection that you really can't see this. It's in pencil. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of elements in uh, pencil on tracing paper, and then kind of maneuver them around uh, a frame to try to uh, get it to look like a nice design. And then maybe I'll say, I have to make such and such smaller or larger. And then I go through that process. <laughs> I have a little light thing that you can put a piece of, uh, like my tracing paper and then mm -hmm. a, a light table and it goes up and down and makes it larger or smaller. And I can kind of position it in there to see how it will work. Indeed. Anyway, I wanted, uh, my daughter said, this is a, a, a historic time. Mm -hmm. You should do one for the pandemic. And I think, well, what can I do for that? And so I thought of our response to it. And I thought, who symbolizes Tulsa, the driller, mm -hmm. put a mask on him. And he's resting his hand on that, uh, uh, oil derrick there. Thank you. The yeah. oil derrick. So th that hand, I try to see how my hand would look if it had like disinfectant in it. And I wanted to have generic disinfectant. So it's got a little red cross in the middle of a white bottle yeah. and spraying the Tulsa skyline. And then when you come down, there's a little lone tree in there. Uh, with its holiday lights that symbolizes hope. And then he's actually crushing a coronavirus under his boot. Mm, so okay. it's kind of fun, I yeah. guess. And I, you know, when we post this, we will, uh, we will have also, um, cause you gave us uh, some kind of a drawing or something. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and put that on the post as well. So people can at least get it get a good look at it. yeah the do the drawing because the front of it says stronger together and that's a cool kind of feeling like we should all be together on this right right no i think that's uh that's that's good and we're kind of we're really looking forward to that one. i think it's going to be a going to be a good one now on the uh <clears throat> so i know that you donate proceeds from the uh from your uh sales that you get so who benefits from from those well at the beginning when i first started i was donating 25 percent of my profits and then i just found some little letter where in 2008 i was donating 50 percent of my profits but the ornaments success uh, I am now donating 100% of my profits to the food bank and to Catholic charities and to Neighbor for Neighbor. Yeah, that's good. That's another little incentive for people who are buying, not only <clears throat> getting an ornament, but being able to support these other uh, uh, nonprofit uh, entities. Okay, so now you're, you're not teaching anymore. Yes. So you, so you obviously have all this free time, right? Yes, I'm just, uh, where's a cup of coffee? I'm just sitting here uh, doing nothing. No, I have all these I think you're busy. Now. And uh, it's a lot to, from assembling the boxes that I, uh, my husband and I drive up to Parsons, Kansas to get the boxes. Mm -hmm. And the ornaments are made in, Rhode Island, so it's all American manufactured and everything, all of it. And then I write the little uh, things, the mm -hmm. little inserts on little pieces of paper that I cut and fold myself to put in the boxes. So uh, I have a lot of that to do to get them together. Well, you had told me a while back that you're almost busier now than you were when you yes were. i have the grandchildren that i 
well, when they were going to school, like my granddaughter, I'd come pick her up from school and she'd stay here till her mom was off of work. And then, you know, so there was a lot of that going on and I'm uh, still active as a cantor at my church, St. Mary's, mm -hmm. and I'm in the handbell choir. And this very Friday, I'm going to be singing for their first school mass. All right. So only the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade are coming into the church because the church will hold 800 people. Yeah. So that'll be about 80, 90 students spread out. And then all the other classes will be looking on there uh, through, I don't know, video uh, streaming. streaming yeah. I'll see the mass. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. And I'm sure you're doing other little artistic things as they as they pop up to keep your artistic juices flowing there. Thanks. Yeah, but, uh, but we're, like, like I said, we'll, we'll have the, uh, the ornaments uh, when this posts, and, uh, and then as soon as the other ornaments come in, we'll have those as well. I, I think those are both gonna be very good. Uh, um, they, I mean, seeing the, the preliminaries, they, they all look, look really good in there. You know, the, obviously the BOK is a very popular, uh, popular place and yeah a lot of people might have had their first date there and now they're married and uh -huh. I mean I got a letter back from somebody that said they were proposed to in the uh, gathering place so it just meant so much to them mm -hmm. so yeah, a lot of good. these little places around town are not only historic but you know kind of romantic at the yeah. same time yeah, yeah. There's you. There's a, a lot of different stories that you don't even uh, know about, and this kind of helps uh, bring all those together. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for. Uh, oh, you're for so being, welcome. Being with us here, and uh, and uh, now, like I said, we'll post this on uh, on uh, Monday, and we'll put it on our email newsletter, and everyone will be able to to enjoy it. So thanks okay. again for. Uh, for uh, doing this, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.